So I know that Revolver said that he was kind of trying to, you know, play around with some secondaries, but you know, like, you know, like Beto is, yeah. Not secondary with Dante, he's going straight from the, uh, going straight with the, uh, uh the boy instead. No playing around, especially with kind of these top level players, but, you know, granted, I don't know what Revolver's doing in these early sets. I can't really judge. That spike as well, but not quite gonna get there. Is oh, let me just get back for free. Oh my god, he used the double dance to actually catch the Falcon dive and the spike as well to cover it. I will say this there's no better, kind of like, in my opinion, like game knowledge or showing of that than just a really good frame trap. It just always hits different, always. Like though, not gonna hit through the stage as Arctex manages to get back. He's trying to get off this ledge as well, but a draft of Roy's not gonna put in the work just yet. Down there into F smash? Kind of ease looking for these F smashes. He wants them. He knows where Arctex is DIing, but I think the percentage is just a little bit too high to actually go for it. And that back air hitbox is gonna be extremely generous. Catch even that roll in from Arctex. One though, not, not getting the kind of hitbox, though, so it's not going to send up just like Arctis wants. Oh, that's a bad situation. Just kind of throwing out the up B there, just kind of get that extra damage, put Sharktus a little bit away. I think it's kind of a punish. Double edge stand's going to be putting him really far off the side. Try to get back, put that jab, yep, for sure. I'm sure Roy Jab can uh, catch off in the life. Why not? That, that though, when you really put him over into the top left corner. Still gonna be living though. Get up attack this kind of push our price off from that edge guard situation. He finally gets his back air. This is a very high situation, very high percentage situation for Arc Dice. But Arc Dice is never out of it. This man is so explosive, but. Especially with that back, that F tilt, though, he will be taking that. But overall, really good showing, especially coming out from Revolver, kind of cementing himself in his placement on this latest PR. That said, we're going to be getting into this game number two, Town and City. Again, uh, I, I feel like last time I saw some commentators, or maybe I was commentating, and I questioned, you know, why take Roy to Town and City? And then Arctis just absolutely went off. Both these characters love the stage, so honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of stick with it. Stick with it, especially if Arctis does keep, take game number two. Nice, nice, nice grab, catch on the uh, dash back. Oh, that Nair, is that going to do it? No, not quite. And the platform actually going to be helping for aiding his recovery attempts. If the situation uses double jump, though, to get back. Really good presence. Oh. He doesn't, yeah, Arctis was not ready for that forward throw, so that, that tech situation is going to put a lot of damage, but not quite going to get the kill just yet. Good jab. Bear. Not quick enough to take it yet. I'm a little bit surprised. I love this kind of patience coming up with these mirrors and just the constant brain trapping. Any other way, not able to get the combo that uh, that revolver really wants, but it doesn't matter as this damage is just going to build up more and more. Double edged dance, not getting a sweet spot though. More jabs, more jabs, and just putting a lot of pressure on Arctis. 
Not getting the jab back here. The Volper almost died for it. Oh, here comes Artis though. Falcon dive as well, kind of challenging that shield. And the air touch as well. Really bad spot though, is he's gonna drop that stock. That's felt like a really even game seems to kind of slowly be shifting in Artis' favor as his combo game just starts to get more and more developed at this point. And we already know that Artis has a really good combo just like flat out, but it's starting to come alive a little bit here later in the set. Here we go indeed. That's going well, that's going well. How are you doing, Pat Denzel? I'm good, I have no visions, so I'm commentating the match I can't see. Let's do this. Oh, Artis is gonna carry him to the side, but not quite. Just barely missing that nair. Oh, trying to cast that roll away, but Artis is smartly rolling in. Not able to get it, but... Back as well, tech chase situation. And this time, Artis makes it up. Now go to the roll away instead. I feel like both these characters can kill you, but any of these percents especially. Oh my, that jab kill. That's a good read. Arctus just needs an right, up throw won't do it. He just needs an up key. Oh, the Nair? Oh, Nair will do it. Yeah. Nair will it, kill it. handily. Suspicious angle to say the least, but you know, still gonna take the stock. I don't, I don't think Revolver was kind of expecting that. It was almost DIing straight to the side. So when he did the Nair, his entire body was inside that middle town platform, so he might not have actually seen the Nair come to town. It may have just kind of been there, and by the time he got hit by it, you don't have time to change your DI at that point. You're just kind of locked in. So he died. I would have actually, to be honest, at 150, Three, I would have been surprised two, if he did it. Go. Yeah, I feel like if he if he had DI'd up a little bit, he might have lived. I don't know. The DI especially was like very horizontal. Okay, game three, revolver Arcus. Revolver not having the optimal start to his season for his hottie as he was playing last season. Uh, not able to take a vision yesterday instead of watching his good friend A Power win his first edition. Which is very cool to see. Now one one here with Arcus in the set play. You know, he probably, like, he'd be favored to win on paper, but Arctis could really use this hey. to kind of put himself on the map this season early on as he gets back haired immediately exploding. I can't believe both these players are okay with Town and City. That was such a good jump catch, especially with that, uh, with that jump bear. We are joined by the legendary Catman himself, Vidrod oh. 25. He, he, he left. And... It is gone. Incredible. You know, the, the fact that we had his presence here, like, at all, it's just, it's like, adding, uh, it's a blessing onto this match right now. Okay, Ark just needs to seal this out. One thing Revolver is very good at with Roy is living a long time. Like, he doesn't waste his stock. He, you have to hit him to 130, 140. He'll evade all of your kill options frequently. And for a character like Falcon to get away from the lots of kill options and live to 120 plus repeatedly on stocks, that's impressive. Very true. Not quite going to get that SMS though, but the Falcon die finally going to be taking his first stock against Revolver. His favorite move in the entire game. Falcon's up B. Oh, I 100% agree. I, what they did to that move is absolutely ridiculous. It's just because of the range on it. It's crazy. Alright, so another jab is fair. Bit of an air dodge. Probably missed input there from Arthur. He was trying to establish himself in neutral. He's kind of in a bad spot. Now he's down full stock. Revolver looking prime to take this game. And he's going to set. But Arthur's oh not going to have a fight. Goes for the stomp. She's just not going to be able to get it. But he died for it! Oh my god, he just died for that! Why, why is downer F smash at the thing with Roy? Why, what, where is Revolver coming out with these, like, custom combos? Bro, Revolver's so cool. That was sick. No fear. Gets back to stage, goes, alright, you're not gonna stomp me. But then he goes, as soon as Arctus went for it, 